victory. What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some cannon gameplay. Today we're going to be talking about this weapon that needs a rework. What weapon is it? Well, let's head over and check it out. So yes, we are talking about the Sahara once again. So the Sahara on paper is a great weapon, right? I really enjoy using the Sahara. I think that it is a really, really decent weapon. I think that it is a really good weapon. And I think that it is absolutely outshined by another assault rifle, Possibly two two more assault rifles that we currently have access to. So as you can see here at the uncommon level, it does a body damage of 24, range of 19.5, mag size of 20, fire rate of 7.25, handling of 29, and reload time of 2.4. If we compare that to the HRM, has a body damage of 24, a range of 21, a mag size of 20, Fire rate of 6.33, handling of three of 32, and reload time of 1.9. Let's compare that with a Hydra. So the body damage is 30, the range is 22, the mag size is 20, the fire rate is 5.5, the handling is 27, and the reload time is 29. So, I mean, the handling of the Sahara at the uncommon level and the Hydra at the uncommon level is the same. The body damage for the Hydra is substantially more. The range is substantially more. The mag size is the same. And the fire rate is a little bit lower, right? So, of course, I'm going to compare these two weapons because as I've played more and more and more with the Hydra, it's become very apparent that the Sahara doesn't hold up in any way shape or form in my opinion um, if we upgrade the sahara all the way to the legendary level we see a really 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 bad situation happening here so as you can see here it increases the damage range and reduce reduces the recoil now the way that it reduces the recoil is it lowers the fire rate as you can see here it goes from 7.25 to 7.04 so if we just upgrade this to the epic level, we don't get that range increase, right? But we do get the reduction in the reticle bloom and also a reduction in the reload time. So to me, what it looks like, as you can see, like the legendary doesn't increase the body shot damage whatsoever. In my opinion, if they're wanting to make this a balanced weapon, what I would do and what the developers should do, in my opinion, is they need to increase the body shot damage that you actually get with the weapon whenever you take the fire rate decrease. Because whenever you are looking at this weapon versus some of the other weapons, it's one of the only weapons that the TTK is negatively affected by upgrades, right? If we compare this to the knight, you have the knight where whenever you get that, that epic upgrade, it increases the fire rate, but the damage doesn't change. So the time to kill for that weapon is faster than it was at the uncommon level for the legendary version of the sahara versus the uh epic version of the sahara uh you get a pretty substantial drop in ttk there it goes from a fire rate of 7.25 to 7.04 so you're losing 0 0.220 seconds there of fire time like that is definitely a nerf and this is all i'm going to say after using the Hydra for a while, after using the HRM, ever since they finally adjusted the HRM and made it a viable weapon, the Sahara just doesn't, in my opinion, hold up to some of the other weapons in the game. It is a great weapon, don't get me wrong, and I really enjoy using this weapon, but you can't have a legendary upgrade that 
increases the recoil by reducing the fire rate of it and not adjusting the damage numbers of it. Yeah, you're getting a longer range out of it. So the TTK is longer, right? Is longer, but it's not happening the way that you think it's happening. They need to go in there and they need to make that um, rare upgrade reduce the fire rate of the weapon and then they need to make the epic upgrade increase the damage of the weapon and the range of the weapon that's what i would do and then for the legendary version i would reduce the um the uh reticle bloom for the weapon and increase the hip fire accuracy of the weapon that's that's how i would do it i would have or they could just go in and just drop the fire rate of the weapon down altogether, adjust the damage of it and then rework how the uh other benefits for upgrading it work based off of that information like that's what i would do right because if you upgrade this to 7.04 and the hrm is the next thing that you're going to be close closely compared to with a fire rate of 6.33 it's still going to feel substantially faster and then the hydra has a fire rate of 5.5 so it's going to feel substantially faster there so if you adjusted this to where you get a fire rate of 7.04 at base and increase the body damage to like 26 and then be able to um get that damage range increased over time and then also the the reticle bloom and the hip fire and everything then i think that it would feel like a more balanced weapon than it currently does or i don't know maybe just don't reduce the fire rate of the weapon at the legendary level like there's so many people that I see that buy the weapon and they don't upgrade it to legendary because they don't want it to fire that 0 0.20 seconds slower than it was before. It really kind of throws you off whenever you play an entire match with this same weapon. And then whenever you're getting into the, the, in the final rounds, you know, with this weapon, you upgrade it to the legendary status and you're like, wow, like I was expecting to be able to burn this person down. But I wasn't able to because that time factored up into X amount of bullets lost. It just doesn't feel good, man. So maybe they should go in there and readjust and rework the way that the upgrade path for this weapon is. And then I think that you would see people start to migrate to it a little bit more. Most of the people that I've seen honestly using uh, assault rifles in Rogue Company, which is not a lot because we still unfortunately have an SMG meta. Um, but you see a lot of KA-30s. Of course, you see a lot of... Um, Riptides for whatever reason uh, And then you do occasionally see the Sahara The HRM and the uh, Hydra kind of lurking in there From time to time You do have people like more experienced players That kind of uh, migrate to those weapons Naturally because of the high damage output And if you're accurate with your shots Then it's amazing But for a lot of the newer players Or the less experienced players You see them kind of migrate a little bit more Towards the SMG-esque assault rifles So that they can feel like that they're running and an SMG that has a little bit more range and the damage on it's a little bit different. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that the Sahara needs some type of an adjustment to the weapon itself to make it feel like a really, really good and balanced weapon compared to some of the other heavy hitting assault rifles? Or do you think that it's fine where it's at? If you would change it, how would you change it? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button to become one of the 256 crew members. Lastly, on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. Central Time, Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you're interested and available, please feel free to stop by and say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys. Every time I pull my gun out, I'm just fucking dead. How did I not down that guy? In that corner? Yeah, he's just sitting there. Oh, no! Dude! Can't, no, no, my fucking shit is not hitting him. What? I just got two tapped by that shotgun, and I got teabagged by her because she thinks she's fucking cool because she's running around with a fucking shotgun. Cool, bro. Fuck you, bitch. I'm dead. No, yo, <clears throat> I'm doing it. Oh my god, stand me up. Oh! Somebody's on that corner back there. Out. 
Dude, oh my god. What? He was standing on top of the C4. Whatever. Hey boys up. That was some nutty fucking shot. Yeah. Team was over here with me. Of course, she comes out of fucking nowhere. I thought that he was dead. Behind, behind, behind. Hey. You. There they come. Okay. Not right. Okay, dude. Got killed by a motherfucking sentry. Oh my god, of course she's behind me! I fucking prowl. I crouch. Prowl, whatever. Fucking god damn. Fuck, man! Uh, uh. Got around shit. Oh. No! Rise and rejoin the fight. Oh my There's god! Right in front of us. <laughs> oh man, dude. That tear gas is fucking me up, honestly. Of course. Of course, I get caught in a fucking rock in a hard place there. He's one shot. What Got the her. fuck, dude? Okay, it glitched me into the center of the map. They're everywhere. They just made a huge turnaround, huh? Oh, oh my god, dude, he just had to get that. In need of defense. Oh my god. Drown, damn it. One kill until victory. We got Easy. this, one kill. See ya. Nice work, team. Ah, damn. Shotgun that oh, bitch. Guys. It really was like every time they were just everywhere. Yeah, right. I don't like playing TDM on that map at all. I die too fast, so I get angry. <laughs> 